tell you. Why? I can tell you a little bit about why these attempts to shut people down are being made, because you need to know this. So, as far as I've been able to determine, this kind of protest is an expression of a philosophy that's grounded partly in postmodernism and partly in Marxism. Now, the postmodern element is basically this. There's no such thing as genuine individual identity. What there is is group identity. And you, like it or not, only have the interests of your group. And the whole world is nothing but a battleground between groups of different interests. There's no dialogue. There's no possibility of talking between the groups. It's just a power stage where combat has to take place. And so the reason that speakers with whom the radical postmodernists and the Marxists don't agree are denied a platform is because those people do not believe from a philosophical position that dialogue can bring consensus. And all that's left, if you forego that particular principle, is this. And this is only where it starts. You know, the fact is, is that you're all pretty damn civilized. And thank God for that. Because if there were enough fools in the crowd, especially those who are intent on violence, this would turn out very differently. Right. And we do not want to go down that pathway. It's a big mistake. We've been down that pathway many, many times. I was certainly not conform to a consensus that was against my belief merely because it was a consensus. Often the group is wrong. The question was, if there was a consensus against my beliefs, would I forego them? And the answer to that would be, well, first, it would depend on what my conscience said. What are we going to do? Assume that the consensus is correct? The Nazis had a consensus, right? right. The individual has a conscience. And you have to know when the group is, it has made a mistake and has become nothing but a madly chanting mob. In which case, what you should do is detach yourself from the madly chanting mob and act like you've got a spy. Hey, Jordan. Yes. Um, you've talked a lot in your personality class about confronting your shadow, integrating yes. your shadow. Um, do you find that people who care less about what other people think and care more about their conscience have integrated their shadow maybe more than people who care more about silencing okay, so others? A... Can you hear me at all, you guys? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so there was a question. The question was, stemming from my personality class, do I think that people who are willing to abide by their conscience are those who've integrated their shadow? And I would say yes, because you have to be a bit of a monster to stand up to the crowd, right? If you're too concerned whether or not people like you, and if you're too avoidant of conflict, then you're going to cave at the first sign of pressure. And you don't want to do that, because if you let people stop you from moving forward, you just end up being someone who's stopped. And if you're someone who's stopped, you've got no life in you. And that's no good. So you have to get tough. But you have to get tough in a way that's controlled. Right? It has to be controlled. Because otherwise, you're the puppet of your worst impulses. And that's a terrible thing to be.